Jugush himself sijui kama anajuanga mali ameni ame vile ameni inspire and i know it's not only me even other people marriage i kwangi priority i'm so afraid of marriage What's up guys? Welcome to SPM Buzz. My name is Ishiko and of course we're coming to you from SPM Buzz Studios with me. Today is the beautiful Auntie Jemima. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Yourself? I'm good. You too. Thank you. Thank you. I love that dress. Thank you. Asante sana. Thank you. Thank you. vizuri. Niko salama na shukuru kupiga tu haso in Nairobi. Mm. You've seen kidogo unaingia pale mashinani. Mashinani tumeshaanza. We have we debuted in Nanyuki, mm -hmm. alafu tukaingia mm -hmm. Karatina. Okay. Eh karibu watu na mapenzi. People I have seen that. Oh my goodness, we are so grateful. Watu wa Nanyuki Karatina by the mm -hmm. thank you so much. It was amazing. Uh -huh. Yeah. For me, uh, I I didn't attend my Tomo Cafe one, but I did two. Nice. And let you. me tell you, even leaving the venue was a, uh, leaving the venue was an issue because mm -hmm. hey, <laughs> the vibe. <laughs> Let's talk about um my Tomo Cafe Tetu, the one that happened right here in Nairobi. Right. Kwa kweli kwa. Eh I keep telling everyone mm -hmm. that I I am still taking it in niko bado kwa hiyo hangover hiyo show mm -hmm. because the love that Nairobians showed us was immense. Sure. It was beautiful. It was it was actually more than we dreamed of. Mm -hmm. Mimi nilikuwa naambiwa ati kwa parking kulikuwa kuna watu wamejaa over 100 people who wanted tickets. There were still people who came hoping they'd get space. And then the fact that people didn't want to leave after the show. People were lazy to system at 2 a.m. And Poleni Sana, my Tumu Kavete 3 to Takwana after party. But it was, I think it was, um, it was a dream come true. Sure. Yeah. Now, talking about um, um, my Tumu Kavete 2, do you have the exact numbers? For what? The turnout. Yes, for Nairobi was 2,000. What? Yes, 2K. That was our, we had targeted 1,500 to 1,700. Mm -hmm. This is because my to one, my to one was supposed to be a, a capacity of 350 because it was the first one. Mm -hmm. So we sold out my to one mm -hmm. and people continued paying. We actually refunded a few guys. Your manager has said, I'm going to pay for my money. To a space next weekend. So we did a second my to one mm -hmm. because people continued paying mm -hmm. and we sold out that too. So that was 700 packs for the two shows. Mm -hmm. And then we sold uh, watchable links after the show. Mm -hmm. And we had over over 2,000 sales. So for the links? For the links, what? both Kenya and diaspora. Uh -huh. So to Kakachini, to Kasema Maito, too, we have to get a bigger venue. Mm -hmm. Because clearly, one, to look at Meji underestimate yeah. from 300 <laughs> to 700. Yeah. So let's do the 700, the one we did for one, mm -hmm. and look for another 700 mm -hmm. to do 14, 1500. Then we got the venue, uh, then we now started selling the tickets. Mm -hmm. Wakenya ni nani? Wakajaza. Two weeks to the show, we sold out. And um, it's like I told you, Bado, Bado, it, Bado I'm, t I'm still taking it in. Uh, yeah. It reminds me to go pale inje, at a, like out of uh, the, the, the hall that it was happening, yeah. palevo. Yeah. Let me tell you, hey, Germany Kidogo, you are like, Ebua Pite Kwanza Ndoni Pite. Like, what are you doing? Was it maybe tough for you now preparing for this show, given the numbers? Yes, it was tough. Mm -hmm. Because you see, they say that to whom much is given, much is expected. Sure. So it was tough, number one. But mm -hmm. Nikitu, you, Nikitu, see, artists to Nakwaga Nayo, you really want to, as much as you may sell out, uh -huh. the next big, uh, ki, ki, the be, the next big uh, test for you mm -hmm. is to deliver. So it was not easy. Uh, it was not very easy, by the way, mm -hmm. but we did it, and Nairobians were happy. We are also very happy. The feedback was amazing. You need to see people take home what we wanted them to take home from the show. Ah, we we mutu anaskia vizuri sana. Yeah. Now, what exactly prompted you to do the Maitomo uh, Cafe Machinani tour? So what prompted us to do that was um, now. The show was initially supposed to happen in May. I'm telling you this in confidence. Nobody knows. But uh, because of a few reasons, uh -huh. one of them being flooding, we could not do the show in May. Mm -hmm. So we had to push it all the way to August. Mm -hmm. So now, because the show was supposed to happen in May, there was something else I wanted to do for the rest mm -hmm. of the year. But now having pushed the show to August, kuna vile singe fanya whatever, the, whatever project I wanted to do hainge fanyika in the short period of time. So I was like, yo, si tujaribu tupeleke kitu mashinani. Because we've seen Mkurugenzi do Nakuru and Eldoret. Tukasema, wacha tuzunguke morema, bora tusiguze. 
Murema. And we so we sat down with the team, looked at the potential towns where we know events culture is happening, and we came up with Nanyuki, we came up with Karatina, uh, Nakuru, Naivasha, and uh, Diani. Mm -hmm. So we are yet to explore other towns, but for starters, those are the ones we decided we're going to try with them. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, Nanyuki was our debut Mashinani show. So Nanyuki, again, we were expecting 200, because it's our first time. So at a VT, we'll go to Meitisha, 200. Lakini the facility had other, other seats, just in case we get an overflow. Tukauza, 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 tukauza. On the day of the event, we had over 300 packs. Over 300 packs, we were like, yo, Nanyuki, atakama muna tupenda. Manze, thank you so, so much. So it was amazing. Karatina, the same. So Nanyuki, to Lipisha, it was a ticketed event. Karatina, the owners are the ones who bought the event. So wow, how could it be? Ah, by I think by seven thirty-eight, that place was full. So it tells us um, from from an from uh, an artist's uh, point of view, mm -hmm. uh, people are hungry for content. You just need to tell them where and when. Package it very well. Oh, they are ready to consume your, your mm -hmm. content. Mm -hmm. Man, Sisi Bado, we are still we are still taking that all in. Mm -hmm. Na Nakuru, we also want you to come and show us what Nakuru City is all about. We are going that's to Nakuru next year. 28th, yeah. 28th yeah? of September, yeah. yeah that's mm. next week. Next weekend, Saturday. Uh -huh. mm. Now, I'm not sure how you're going to answer this question because I, I'm, I'm, I'm posing it as a challenge. Okay. Because during uh, my Temo Cafe that happened right here in Nairobi, yeah. Yeah. imagine, um, for example, we saw uh, Jackie. Ali, yeah, yes, she was here. Mm. She was there. Yes. What are you doing maybe probably to now include even mm. Nankikuyu's? <laughs> <laughs> so that is a question I get even when we are pitching for brands. Yeah. I tell people that uh, this is my niche. Mm -hmm. same, way, same way someone who sells shoes and not dresses, that is their niche. Up on the one on a strength, they are equal. Mm -hmm. So my strength is in the vernacular. And uh, this is not to mean that others do not understand. If you mm -hmm. ask Jackie, she probably got the whole show because it is 70% Swahili English. Yeah. Kuna kikuyu huko mm -hmm. We also get a lot of non-Kikuyu speakers following our content on social media because we don't purely speak Kikuyu. Kuna ngodho watarusha Kiswahili hapa, mm -hmm. Naomi the same, Kizungu here and there. So, yeah, but to answer that, mm -hmm. this is my niche audience uh -huh. and this is what I want to run with. Uh -huh. eh. With it, you still get people who, at least at our key watch, they, they get one, two, one, two. Yes, they do. They do. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm, and I was so happy to see to see Jackie. Mm -hmm. Not only Jackie, we had even Kulikombaka na Waria walikuamekam show. I even saw Waindis. Yeah. I did not know what they were doing there. <laughs> so me, I was asking to get here to Allah. Uh -huh. So we had, hey, walilipa na kabai tiko. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's beautiful to see other people now coming to see what this is all about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As an artist, now during the show, I heard you talk so much about Njigosh. Yes. Please, <laughs> tell us. Labda, what, when was the t first time Labda Mleza kupatana na Njigosh? When was it? I met Njigosh when we had gone for um, a brand immersion, a briefing for a product we were doing. Mm -hmm. My first endorsement mm -hmm. from an agency, and he was also there. That was back in 2017. Mm -hmm. Njigosh um, himself, Sijui kama na juanga, mali ame vile ame inspire. And I know it's not only me, even other people. Okay. And that is why I also gave him his flowers on my show. Mm -hmm. Jugush made it possible. He made it, he made us see it's possible kufanya video na simu, upost na upate following. Because alikuwa metoka Real House Helps. Yeah. Alikuwa metoka TV. Akanza sasa kufanya when digital started taking off. Uh, in alianza 2014. Mm -hmm. So me nilianza 2016. Now the reason nilianza ni ju, I studied accounts. So I wanted someone to notice me and remove me from accounts to media. So While you were still in school? No, 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 when I was now practicing as an accountant. Okay. So this is 2016, Jugush ameanza kufanya, mm -hmm. na ameanza pat, mpaka kupata endorsements. Mm -hmm. So he's the reason I started doing videos, because I saw it possible to just do a small video. You could tell it was quality yake liko ya simu, mm -hmm. na anapost na anapata engagement na endorsements. Mm -hmm. So for, for uh, so Jugush is a huge pillar in my content creation journey. Mm -hmm. He made it, he made us see it is possible. Mm -hmm. to, you don't need to go to any media house for your name to be for your name to be known or for your brand to grow. You have social media, mm -hmm. and then now for stand up comedy show, I have always wanted to do stand up. I had always wanted to do stand up. Mm -hmm. I just did not know uh, where to start, how to start, mm -hmm. and then TTNT started, mm -hmm. 
I went for TTNT1, I was like, man, uh-huh. so it's possible. Uh-huh. TTNT2, TTNT3, ah, no, watch out to find your kid too. So in 2021, there was something major that happened. I lost my child. Yeah. I had a stillbirth and I wanted to tell that story because after I posted, mm-hmm. I got a lot of women sharing their pain also, that they've gone through the same. And I noticed there was a, there was a gap. There's a, people don't address it. There's still a lot of stigma around maternal loss. So I wanted to tell that story. So I looked for a director. His name is Lawrence Morage. Uh, he has directed so many Kikuyu plays at Kenya National Theatre. He's a good writer by the big up to you, Lawrence. Mm-hmm. And I told him I want to try stand up. Akaniliza, what story do you want to tell? Nika mwambia nataka kutell his story. So akaniambia, atuizi anza na iyo. Wacha tuanze na story yako, kigro. So we sat down. Nikamwambia about my growing up. Mm-hmm. And then akaniambia, so this is now the story to tapiga mbaka hapa. However, I want you to go. Did you watch TNT? Kambia, yeah, I watched TNT. I can I want you to also now go watch other stand-up comedians and understand how stand-up is done. Mm-hmm. Because what I thought, I thought stand-up is punchline after punchline. Looking at stage, jokes, 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 <laughs> jokes, jokes for two hours. <laughs> but if you listen to Kina, if you watch Kina Dave Chappelle, if you watch Kina um, Kevin Hart, Kina Trevor Noah, mm-hmm. Kina Monique, uh, Kina Titi and Jugush, so you'll understand it is storytelling. Sure. And in the storytelling, that's where you have segues, you talk about this, the punchlines, ni ni ni. So I watched, at first I was like, hey, okay. Mm-hmm. But then now we sat down with him, curated the show, rehearsed for three months. Back to your question, Jugush is a huge inspiration. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe during this uh, time that you're so much uh, wanting to do stand-up, uh, did he get to a point and you're like, let me make this call to him? Let me get a uh, one, two from him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We actually, I called him, mm-hmm. told him I want to do it. I can be a piga, piga ikitu. Mm-hmm. And then we also had a sit down with Phil, Phil Karanja, because mm-hmm. Phil is also very instrumental to TTNT. Mm-hmm. Now, actually, we used his website to sell, we rented his website to sell my Tomo Kavete one. Mm-hmm. And so to Kianza, Chalikupeka backstory Kidogo, to the Kotan Takfanya, 3,000 people kwa tent. Okay, so to kind of film back at venue, Pale Anzana Gardens, a Katuliza Mukoshu, Mataka Kufanyaki to Kambe, eh, Monajamini, eh. So he's the one who told us the pros and cons of doing a show in a dome tent. The first thing he told us, it is dumb expensive. A la Kinesis in Kiranani, no, Wakikui Wakonabesha. <laughs> Tutatoa. Hey, and then COVID wave two. I think it was Omicron. Mm-hmm. The the second wave hit. So there were no more gatherings. We could not do that. That is why we resulted in doing it at KNT. Feel a little piggy I am so happy you guys have dodged the first bullet. Because Kama Mgefanya kwa dome tent, ingewa kula sana. So yes, I called in Jugush. I also called Feel it. Uh Phil. Nayen wa wali to guide Sana about that and I'm so grateful. Even for him to rent us his website to sell the show, mm-hmm. that was so good. Yondo support to Nataka Kuinje. Sure. Let's support each other. Don't get keep mm-hmm. to support Malunaza, but yeah, umsani yo footage ndio pia ya eze kuinuka. Mm-hmm. Eh. And of course I so feel pale uh kwa my tumu cafe tetu. Eh, Jemani alkwa cheka di anato ma chosi. Oh juvile iliko inani bamba ni kiona feel la kwapa na na cheka. Amika hapo na madake, na ona awija pia amika hapa. Oh my gosh, it was beautiful. Shik Skapienga was also yeah. there. I saw Tony, Tony, the director, was also there. It was nice. It was nice to see other people in the industry. Even my Towan Kinanjugush came, Mkuru walikuja, ni vile ipia walikuwa na shugli ya wange kam. But it was amazing to see other uh, creatives come. Kenodhia was there. Shifira was there. Uh, Kina Diana Gau. Mine was there. Uh, who else did I see? Yani, there were so many creatives. Dada Sara. So many. Sony. Karo Sony was there. There are so many creatives who came. Uh, even Mon- uh, what is her name? Bishia Karo Sony. Um, Marin, the actress, actress was there. Mm-hmm. Uh, to see my whole crew, Kina Naomi, Kina Ngodo, Kina Pipi, uh, Piento. It was amazing to see other creatives come support. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's talk about now. Uh, you've mentioned at first you were a little skeptical. You're yeah. not. Of course, Ukianza Lazima Kunahi Woga. Will I really make it? Will I really do it? Mm-hmm. What are the challenges that you probably uh, go through or rather um, work on mm-hmm. before now doing these shows? Okay. Mm-hmm. So the biggest challenge is money. <laughs> yes. Because setting up and doing such an event, uh, it takes it, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of money, it's a lot of personnel and work and manship, workmanship. 
So aside from money, there is also an imposter syndrome that attacks every artist, telling you, oh, utawache kesha, utawache kesha. Mm -hmm. But I was told it is a good uh, syndrome yeah. because that shows you're not overconfident. Mm -hmm. So the biggest challenge is money. The other one is weather. Content may pick up my rehearse. Lafu najua, when you rehearse a joke for too long, unanzanga kuona si funny. Because we've rehearsed for over four months. Yeah. Unanzanga kuona, ah, sasa inabo. Mm -hmm. Ukifanya director na creative director wako, mukiran show, hawa cheki, unashindua, hey, mungu baba, itaweza. <laughs> but remember, the people have not seen it. Mm -hmm. It will be the first time. Yeah. And since you may rehearse in a kapoa, mm -hmm. ukiwachilia ni ivo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's get now into your life. Mm, sorry, the other, the other, the other, um, the other, what had you call them? The other Ch challenge yeah. is, is venue, space. Mm. Uh, we don't have affordable spaces for artists to do their shows. Mm. If you, Kenya National Theatre is there for, but you see the capacities right now, I think it's for 50 mm -hmm. or for 500, I'm not sure. But if you want to do above 1,000, it's hard. So that is why you've seen us result into the private spaces mm -hmm. and they're damn expensive. Yeah. So that is also something that we can, we can look up. The stakeholders, yeah. people who are, who are in, in this, mm -hmm. uh, we need to look for venues. We need to create venues for artists. Sure. Yeah. All right. Getting into your <coughs> life. Um, there was a time during T T N T five because I saw you. Yes. However, hey, Jamani and Jamani, ulikuwa... Shoikisha, chwa, umenda. Let me ask you. Yes. First of all, are you social? Like I'm super introverted, so that explains. And Where? then yes, I wish I knew. I wish I knew you were looking for me. Alafu <laughs> nililipa regular, but I paid regular for a reason. Uh, so TGNT was in July, yeah. and my tour was in August. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to sit back and see. So from a point of, from Jugush's view, I remember I went on Friday when they were setting up to see mm -hmm. from stage. Then I sat behind to see now the crowd. Also listen to people's reaction, huku nyuma. Mm. For me, at a sequa, nili, nili enjoy a show, mm. but nilikuwa natoka huko na a lot of challenges. Nilikuwa na mwana kichwa. <laughs> Thinking about hey. you. Because Pia and Jugush wanaenda wakitu seti ya bar huko. True. Huko, huko, huko. That was 6,000 people there. And did you see the setup? My goodness, Aish. And the fact that they delivered? Oh yes, yeah. that one, that one nayo, eh, iyo nayo tunawapatia Njugush and Sele, <laughs> big up to yourself. So I also left Ali because of parking. Nilikuwa nime, na, na, nilikuwa na kama kutakuwa na ni jam, yeah. kilipa parking, ama kutoka. Mm -hmm. So that's why I also left Ali. Mm -hmm. Again, I am a mother. So lazima nige kipinge tu kanyonye. Uh, you know, when I saw you uh, leave, mm -hmm. I was like, because uh, we were talking with also one of my friends and we were saying, mm -hmm. Auntie Jemima probably, um, Kidogo, it's like social media. It did harm then, but we thought probably you said you'll like try to stay away whenever possible. Mm, no, 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 actually, I'm happy to do interviews. Ukiweza unione kwa event ni vurute, but I'm not a conversation starter. Mimi ni super introverted. Uneza fikira mimi ni snob, but I am not. If you start the conversation, tunasonga, tunayenda na ayo. Yeah. Talking about it uh, now, about uh, 2021, right. things happen, right. kwenye mitando and things like that, mm. including celebrities. Yes. Has it, has this probably affected now your relationship even with other people in the industry, mm. the celebrities, things like that? Mm, not quite. Mm -hmm. um, I'm like I said. I'm very. I'm a super friendly person. Yeah. Super, super kind. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just that people now confuse that because I also wear a very serious face out there. Yeah. So it really hasn't had any negative effect. Mm -hmm. In any case, it has opened up a lot. Yeah. A lot of women, both celebrities and non-celebrity, keep mm -hmm. reaching out, mm -hmm. and we're happy to talk to them. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to do that. I've started a small organization where women just meet and talk about loss. Yeah. And uh, we oh. did our first meetup, uh, our first meetup in in May, mm -hmm. at uh, Village Market. I'm hoping to do something else in October because October is Infancy Loss Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, just continue addressing and being vocal about it mm -hmm. because people have kept quiet for so long, so 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 much so that when it happens to you, you feel like there's something wrong with you. Yeah. And it actually, there's nothing wrong with you. It was just maybe because of medical complications here and there mm -hmm. and uh, other reasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we want to vocalize the reasons women lose babies or women lose, uh, women die during birth. That it's not only, <laughs> you know, people say ni kurogwa, ni machombaya, ni kuji expose. Yeah. 
there was, there's so much ignorance around that topic because there's a lot of medical uh, issues, preeclampsia, gestational diabetes, like in my case, yeah. we have women who have um, uh, the cervix, there's a name that cervix is called, incompetent cervix, mm -hmm. such that you have to be stitched for you to hold your pregnancy. Um, uh, so many factors, the resource factor, mm -hmm. so many reasons that women make women lose babies or die during birth. So let's not only concentrate on those, let's pass more information so that women can prepare themselves more yeah. when they're pregnant. Uh -huh. Yeah. Reminds me, I, I, I saw a story yesterday of a lady who also um, had still birth yeah. and people talked, people talked. And out of that, mm. um, like, I want a child just to prove mm. to people yeah. out there. Yeah. So I think, yeah, uh, there's a lot of pressure and a lot of misinformation out there mm. on child mm. loss and things like that. Mm. But that aside, there was a time you mentioned that uh, you were doing therapy mm -hmm want to know how are you right now, mm. mental health, yeah. how is it, are you still taking the therapy? Yes, I still do. Mm -hmm. um, so healing is an everyday journey. Mm. And um, I keep saying that mental health is just like uh, any other health. Mm -hmm. You need to keep checking. Ukiumwa na meno, ukifixiwa, ata ingine inezaanza kuuma wende wangaliwe. And since mental health is the most uh, vital, because uh, unasikiaga ukikufa, unambuwa ngumekufa after your brain is dead. Um, so you need to keep checking after your mental health. Mm -hmm. So I still do therapy. I started therapy because of cyberbullying, and I still continue to do it even now. Nikisikia niko sawa sana, naenda na check in, nasema, nasikia niko sawa sana, kuneza kuwa na nini, tunaongea, if I'm not okay again, because life has its journeys, eh, tunaenda tunaongea. So it's something I have normalized, mm -hmm. and I tell people to keep keep normalizing therapy. Mm -hmm. It is important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because also, just like in still birds, mental health in Kenya and Africa, has not been handled the way it should. Yeah. Hyperwang with the attention it deserves. Napatanaga na watu kuinje wako mentally challenged and I'm like, maybe this one who's someone who had bipolar and it was not addressed. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is someone who had schizophrenia and it was not addressed. Mm -hmm. So let's 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 embrace it. Let's kill him to an apartmental health issues. Mm -hmm. Sasawa. So let's let's keep on not to embrace to see we buy. See kuchis. Kuchizi ni ugonjwa, mtu, mtu wana need your attention. Mm -hmm. Na also tuondo, uh, kuna stigma mob sana around Mathari. Mm -hmm. so I don't know kama ni jina itachange you or what, because it's one of the best mental facilities we have in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And it's the most affordable. Mm -hmm. But mtu tuwa kisikia ulipele kwa Mathari, uyo ni, ni, ni product ya Mathari. The stigma is, is so bad. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, uh, like we say, it's okay not to be okay. Correct. It's very normal. It okay. If you're undergoing something, just, you know, I, I tell people, um, there's a way that you can, if you feel you're not okay, usui yo gopa. Kwani kuna mtu wapiti angi shida? Oi, by the way, usui yo gopa. Speak up, mm -hmm. you'd be surprised. Cry. Cry, yeah. if you must, by the way, I'm a cry, baby, me, I cry a lot. Yes, so cry if you must. Wewe jiachilie tu vila unataka, vila unapenda, and especially our men. You know, men, they don't open up. These days, we have platforms that offer therapy online. You can choose to do it in video form or just talk to the therapist. You don't need to go see them. So just keep opening up to punguze easy mental health cases. Mm -hmm. A lot of suicide ita, ita pungua. Na to heal to as a country, yeah. yeah. There's something you mentioned, and I'm very sure it's also something that people out there are going through, this thing called cyberbullying. Right. Um, because I feel in as much, as long as you're in this space, in the social media space, mara moja, mara mbili, lazima oh, kutakuwa yes. na moja pale amerusha wad, mm. kidogo, kidogo. How do you handle that? Maybe negativity, mm. com uh, negative comments, or mm. people saying something negative. How do you handle that as anti Jemima? So as long as you are in the public, mm -hmm. you are lazima utakuwa subject to scrutiny by the public. You will you will invite unsolicited advice about the way you look, about the way you wear. So I tell people, most of the time it is them, the mm -hmm. cyber bullies, with a problem. Uh, it's actually not all most of, most of the time, all the damn time. Mm -hmm. It is them wishing they were where you are. It is them wondering. It is them wanting to be where you are, yet they cannot. Mm -hmm. So it is them subjecting your, their insecurity on you because they want to be where you are. Mm -hmm. They want to carry attention the same way you're carrying, but they cannot. So they want to subject that to them. As you start, mm -hmm. it's hard because when someone tells you over and over again how you look, what you're doing, because mm -hmm. most of the comments I get is I look, I look like a man. 
and it used to hurt me so much. At some point, it fika ni kwa na feel kama mi seem beautiful. Uh, but I went for therapy. I started doing therapy. Ni nini tukongea. And yes, I look like my dad. By the way, ukiniona hapa na baba yangu, I always differentiate. So yes, I look like a man. I look like my father. So people will tell you that. People will tell you you're not beautiful. But do you know beauty has no standard? Hakuna mali na kwa imeandikwa. Beautiful people should look like Auntie Jemima. Or should look like Shiko. Or should look like Sele. Or should look like someone else. Ni watu wana kwa gawa mejieke ya kitu. That for you to be beautiful, you have to look like this. Mm -hmm. For you to do like this, you have to look like this. Oh, you're too dark. No, Lizanga, watu kuna rangi yako mahali umeka, unapakanga watu vile wanafakuka. You know? Yeah. So as you start, it's hard. And then the human brain is wired in the way that you ignore the most beautiful comments from people, you only concentrate on the bad ones. This one does a stick wa akili. So for you to also get that kuweza uh, embrace musema it is normal it is human for you to feel bad when someone tells you something about the way you look about the, your dress but remember it's not you it's them go through it with time musema go for therapy go for therapy by the kama inakusumbua go for it with time it will come and as long as you feel beautiful from within ai the rest of the world can just shut up and they can say whatever they want to say. Mimi sai mtu atasema unaka kama mwanaume it's okay boss as long as hatusumbuani na wewe mimi wacha nikae kama baba yangu weka vile umataka. Yeah so it's time na come. Yeah yeah beautiful. Now as we wind up and Jemima their comments uh, they, there's a statement that you made I think like two months ago if I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. And where uh, kwenye mitandao it's it's a discussion we had with Kina Naomi and Gao during your show. Right. Mlisema mguze murema. Mguze murema. Bora usiguze murema. The thing is, mm. you said eh, men from murema. Yeah. <laughs> oh, our men, we love you still. We love you still. Kashida tu kamba ko kako. Kashida kadogo. Nika dogo tu kale ka romance na hako dio tunataka ga ku address. Yeah, hey, because our men are romance. Wana kuaga hivi. I think Jew wa kubize sana. Hey, kutafuta. Aizi kupeleka road trip. Akipeleka road trip na nyuki. Ni maybe Jew wa ki anaenda kuangalia site yake. So, ha wanaga free time ya romance. Wana shidu hai. Ate ni kupeleka masaimara. Tukaona hizo vitu zikiruka. I know. They don't. They, I, it's because again, they are very busy looking for money. So, hiyo ndiyo kitu tunambianga tu wa spice up kidogo. Eee. I'm tempted to ask, yes. was it ni mtu moja likuonyesha like <laughs> that side? <laughs> Amani? <laughs> si moja. Ni wengi, alafu pia ni experiences uku inje unasikianga watu wakisema, eh, hey, kikuyu men, eh, hey, kikuyu men, eh, hey, kikuyu men. So if you do your research, utaona ni ukweli, they are the least. And it's okay, muze mani strength yao na ni weakness yao. Mutu wanakuampia udunge puwa sana na kupeleka out. Kamakis. Yo in your stilettos, we don't have dinner dress. We don't have to pay GTC. Hey, to go Kamakis, Kanangaba. We don't Ngamba. I should take you there. Ngamba is a place. It has the best nyama choma, by the way. It's not too dry, but man, okay, in a car ghetto. But in nyama, yeah, who can eat tamu? No, we don't have to go to the store. We 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 have to go kuleta watu gifts hivyo madhani mumatari madhani besha ni <laughs> besha mani ah, yeah. with that said uh, looking at your left hand mm -hmm. left yeah one. yeah, yeah. yeah. Eh. 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 ni meona tu nikaona ni urembo ukoshwa <laughs> nikoshwa hizi ni za urembo there's a team i wore such a ring mm -hmm. and uh, mtu akaniambia mm. congratulations Aki kama una mtu actually nilikuwa nimetoa nikaekelea mali akaniuliza ni ya harusi of which it wasn't <laughs> kunaambia eh jamani si utajifungia anti jamani kuna mtu ah uh, eh kuna mtu sorry kuna modo kuna <laughs> mtu bila kuigua weka mtu wako watu ni wengi uh -huh. <laughs> tuko tu sawa uh -huh. but this is not an engagement ring uh -huh. it's it's ni a beauty to anapenda rings napenda accessories uh -huh. eh ukiniangalia uh -huh. siko sangi kuiva uh -huh. unless nimembua ni sivai na stylist uh -huh just squeeze him back and he's a stylist. Hey, so yeah, so hakuna, yeah, I am not, marriage is a priority. I'm so afraid of marriage, by the way. Uh, I've seen beautiful marriages and I love them. However, for now, it's not a priority. It's not something I'll kill myself over if it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. If it happens, well and good. If it doesn't, it's still okay. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to focus on it. 
and uh, it's also an anini pia mimi time na jam yang i'll try like ini kikata well and good yes well and life has to stop giving people pressure yeah. about about their choices mm-hmm. you know i have seen what marriage can do to unfortunately i've seen what ma- most marriage have done to women mm-hmm. it makes women shrink makes women pile or stuff that dream somewhere yeah. to raise families because unajua wanawake si ujituma tukiingia mahali tunataka kufanya vizuri sana so i am i don't think i'm ready to shelf my dreams i want to chase them if it comes as i'm chasing them it could just nice stop if it doesn't peer mimi niko sawa kabisa kusonga the only thing people tell i don't know if you've seen this comment oh you'll be lonely in your late uh, in your 60s in your nini but the people who are telling you that they've never gotten to 60 so wanakuambia tu kitu wanaskianga kitu hawaja experience na hiyo ndo kitu tuko nayo the other day steve was bashed for saying he doesn't want children yeah. and um, i was like there are so many men who don't like kids and and or even women who don't like kids and they end up uh, making children go through so much yeah. so when someone says what needs to be said and he says it boldly eh unapelekwa mbio unapelekwa mbio i think there's a said we also need to look tuko tuko na insecurities mob sana as a country na pia eh Gen Z mimi na salute sana because wamekam kutuonyesha vitu zenye tunafaa kwa tukidu boldly without fear of anything if you remember even in my tomoka vete too mm-hmm. we were talking about the way to menomolize struggle kwa life zetu that lazima struggle ndio pate hii lazima struggle kwa workplace yako you know it should not be that way kwani utakani watu watakangi maisha poa Hmm? There's a book sorry naongea sana. It's okay. okay. <laughs> There's a book I read by John Tatia. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've read it. It's called uh, it's, it's called Confessions of Nairobi Women. Please read mm-hmm. it. It's, it's a very nice book. He, she has both for men and for women. And there's a story that caught my attention of a lady who did not want kids because of the way she was brought up kwa ushago. Mm-hmm. She went through so much as a child. S- and she said she she will never want to bring a child in this life hataweza the way she is she cannot then she met a man who tried to convince her to have kids nakakata akamwambia sitaki mm-hmm. but you see the way people are apana wacha tukupe time utapata mm-hmm. uta change your perception eh, she conceived when she was drunk alim 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 nini aka, aka conceive mm-hmm. she got the baby yes akamnyonyesha akamfikisha ile time ya kumaliza kunyonya and she left that child with her father and she says she's at peace because she did not want he made her go through that the other one was a man confessions of nairobi men please read that book if you've not read it so this man mama ke aliolewa na yeye so kwenye aliolewa the first husband who married the mom haiku work out so wakachana mama ke akaolewa tena so the other one accepted them however every time so the mom got other kids with this man but every time this stepfather would introduce his family he would say this is my wife and this is my wife's son there was never a point he said this is my son he's my wife's son so later on when he grew up he got married and he got a child and the wife is toxic but he's unable to live because he does not want his kids to grow up how he grew up yeah. so a lot of choices a lot of a lot of trauma can be avoided mm-hmm. if we're just vocal about our choices yeah. kama mtu hataki watoto ni sawa kama anti jamaa hataki kuolewa imagine ni sawa mm-hmm. don't start projecting oh sasa huyu anaongea hata nani anaweza muoa hakika hivyo imagine tuko sawa sure. we do not want uh-huh. our desire is to stay the way we are mm-hmm. we have already made peace with that it is you to make peace with the way you're responding to our choices because yeah. that says a lot when i tell you i don't want something i don't i don't like apples there's nothing much you can do You can start telling me oh apples do they do what you will. no you now work on yourself to start responding to other people's choices in a very kukubali uh, to uh, oh that is okay that is fine yeah. yeah no maybe i know if i leave or rather if i finish this interview without asking you this na jo kuna watu wataniuliza hii jamani mbona you've mentioned uh, you fear marriage yes. what's the cause so number one is uh, i have seen what marriage can do to women okay. so the first reason is because i've seen a lot of women shelf their dreams yeah. for marriage and i've told you it is because women nacha so akiingia mahali anataka kujipatiana uh, uh, bring up the family the, the the nini and all that so most women put their sh- dreams somewhere mm-hmm. and uh, raise the family mm-hmm. so i do not want to be in, uh, i don't think i will ever forgive myself if i shelf my 
my dreams in comedy mm -hmm. so mimi nataka kusonga nayo mm -hmm. number two, i have seen what marriage has done to a lot of my friends my women friends mm -hmm. and i don't think it is a path i want to go through and um i come from a happy family yeah. mom and dad they are good peeps and i i truly admire their marriage mm -hmm. and uh, however eh mimi sitaki i don't think it's a space i want to take myself into yeah mm. all right now as we wind up next saturday you're having my tomo cafe te machinani tu in nakuru nakuru watu wapate tickets wapi watu wanapata pale madfan.com enda mm -hmm. pale upate tickets mm -hmm. 1000 bob only imagine wow. so na nyuki tulikuwa na vip na regular mm -hmm. wote wakalipa vip <laughs> <laughs> so tukasema nakuru na ni city mm -hmm. tunataka kufanya hiyo makosa So watu wa Nakuru advance tickets 1000 bob only mm -hmm. uh, get 1500 mm -hmm. mad fun na tutakuwa pale Jed Hekim alone mm -hmm. it is opposite KMTC Milimani mm -hmm. opposite KMTC Milimani mm -hmm. 28th Nakuru City we are coming my Tomoka Vete Nakuru edition na tunakuja na mauzuri please come show off mm -hmm. come show off show us what Nakuru City is all about uh -huh. na sisi tuwalete good vibes uh -huh. with my Tomoka Vete too Yeah. From there it's Diani. From there it is Diani. Uh -huh. Dates will also be released after Nakuru. Okay. So what were Diani? Summer bunnies also. Hiyo okay. ndio target yenu. <laughs> Get ready to be entertained. <laughs> Alafu kuna link ina mm -hmm. for people who will not make it even to Mashinani. Yeah. The link is coming. So what waanze kutembea pale antijemaima.ke. Mm -hmm. Antijemaima.ke. Mm -hmm. Anza kufamiliarize yourself hapo mm -hmm. ndio tukiwekelea link uko among the first ones. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, thank you so much for your time. Oh, You're beautiful. Thank you. The conversation was beautiful. Fantastic. I enjoyed everything. Thank Sip. you so yeah, much thank for, you for having me uh -huh. and big up to the whole SPM bars manze. Eh, eh, muna to challenge, muna to challenge. Good job. Eh, mutigeretie. Ya nyune rurumete. All right. Thank you. thank you so much guys for watching this video until next time. I've been your host Shiko Gitao. Wewe, we. kwenye Jumaima is my good name on all platforms. Okay. My Tomoka Vete tu Nakuru see you on 28th. On all platforms, find us at SPMBAS KE. Find me too at I underscore am Shiko Gitao.